to 80. That's about 15 pips. Uh, so this is about a 15 pip range. This would be uh, um, so you would kind of do a proportional thing. Sorry, I'm trying to follow what's going on. I have real money at stake here. Uh, but I just want to give you the flavor of it. So if it's a 15 pip range, it can lose about another uh, seven or eight pips to come down to this green line. So that would be about a uh, 67 level if you do the math, okay? You have to kind of do that all in your head really fast. I'm going to pause again. Okay, we're back for just briefly. I've sat here and done uh, the math more logically for you on this. This candle, uh, presently, uh, the, it looks like it could top out at about anywhere from 82 to 85, and that's if uh, it gets up, <coughs> pardon me, that's if uh, it gets up parallel with uh, this uh, red trend line, okay? so you'll learn how to how to do that kind of math on the fly in your head just like I do it's not very difficult uh, pausing again back briefly uh, okay you can see it's now hitting 79 and we're waiting to see if it can go up a bit more or not I think as I say okay there's 80 uh, I think I'll take my profit at 82. I know it can run all the way to 85. In fact, maybe I ought to take my money off the table now and let this cycle back down towards the uh, green support line there. Uh, unless it's a runaway. If, it, if it's a runaway, it'll break out through the up this red uh, trend line here and on up through the money maker. And that would be just fabulous. Um, I'm going to take my money off the table at this time. One second here. Okay. Okay, I have uh, cleared my position on that and can probably talk a little more rationally. When you're in a trade and trying to teach someone else about what you're doing, uh, teaching them your method, it's, uh, it's quite quite a strain. Uh, we're going to go on pause again. Uh, we're at 4680, uh, 1.4680. Uh, let's see what happens. Well, pausing. Okay, back. There's 81. You can see 81, 4681. I'm uh, going to pause it again. I'll bring you back if uh, there's significant change. Uh, it just hit 82, but I wasn't quick enough to show it to you. Uh, we'll pause again. Okay, back for a minute. Uh, just to explain what I'm waiting for is for, as I said before, for it to cycle back down from this red trend line and get a bit closer to the green. And that's probably going to happen in a very sudden way. And at that point, I would uh, go back in long if it got really close to this uh, green support line. You might wonder why I don't just short it. Uh, if, if I believe that and short it coming down well it's uh, at this point it looks like it has real momentum uh, on its in its interest so I'm leery of shorting it back down I don't know how far down it's going to go it, the time is uh, 1.34 my time in the afternoon and 34 minutes after the hour a lot can happen in 34 minutes. It could come down. But uh, since there's this cross, uh, the moneymaker cross of this red trend line with the moneymaker, I'm not inclined to short it because the trend appears to be upwards and I'm this thing can break out. You never know. So this can apply to stocks as well. I mean, you can sit, sit there and uh, run this type of um, algorithm on the stock that you're trading and trade the intraday uh, candle. Uh, there are 4681, 82, I said 82 to, eight, to 85 if you recall uh, because that's what this measurement is telling us unless there's a breakout. So uh, there's 82 
83 and holding <laughs> it's a lot of fun to use um, the H205 it is a lot of fun but you have to be careful uh, it can get away from you uh, 83 again uh, not a bad estimate of what that value would be when this got parallel remember I said when this gets parallel it'll be about 82 to 85 right there and that's proving to be true now that also told me the range of this candle the possible range of this candle unless there's a breakout so it helps you know how to trade the uh, the candle during the day or during whatever period you're trading it on pausing again and there we have 84 we just had 84 I wanted to show you that uh, okay let's pause I'm back uh, now I'll tell you what if that uh, H205 uh, histograph gets uh, really parallel and kind of deep into that red uh, uh, resistance line up there um, at that point I might short it we're up to 84 again 85 uh, if it, now if it tips up into that red line a little more deeply and doesn't show an inclination to uh, to break out actually but it's just kind of embedded in the line I might short it from whatever point that is back down which would be about 87 really um, but as you can see the estimate that I made uh, based on looking at this the, the opening here of this angle and comparing it to the height of the candle at the time uh, was pretty accurate pause a moment as I say I may come back here and you find out I'm shorting it in fact if it can't break 85 I may short it okay folks I did short it at 84 uh, right over about oh it was about here right near the top uh, so I'm sitting short now and my big concern at this point is uh, well two things one that it will go up here and sit at 84, 85 and not come down or sit where it is at 82 or that it may break out through that upper through this upper red uh, trend line okay so I got a two pip spread on this and um, so I don't need it to come down too far to make money uh, so that's my main worry. Otherwise, with 20 minutes left in the hour, I, I can expect that this should drift back down towards the uh, green support line down here. And that's kind of what I'm counting on. But let's